Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a mobile responsive Shopify website so that you can be sure that your website looks good on desktop and mobile devices. I'll be covering a few different tips for how to optimize the different sections that you add to your website. And I'll be showing you how to customize your cart page for the mobile view. And I'll be showing you a few different sections that you can add to your Shopify store. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. For the first tip, I'll be showing you how to optimize your featured collections and your displayed product sections for the mobile view. This can include your featured collections on your Shopify website. All right, I've opened Shopify and you're gonna to wanna to open your themes page. Then you can go in to customize your currently published theme. When you click this mobile icon, this is where you'll be able to see an example of the mobile view of your website and you'll be able to see how the sections can look on a mobile device. One of the best sections you can add to your homepage would be a featured collection. This is gonna feature one of your product collections. And I'll be showing you how to add one of these sections to your homepage. And I'll be showing you different ways you can optimize the mobile view for this section. First off, you're gonna to wanna to create a collection for your products. To do this, you're just gonna to wanna to click products, then click collections. When you create a new collection, you can title your collection and also type in a mini description for your collection. Then when you click browse, you'll be able to select which products you would like to add to this collection. And that's a way that you can add your products to your new collection. Next, you're gonna to wanna to open your Shopify website. Then on your homepage in between sections, you'll wanna click add section. Then you can insert a featured collection. Here under heading is where you can retitle the heading text. And you can choose to feature your newest arrivals or even your best-selling collection. Next to collection, when you click select, you'll be able to select which collection you would like to feature. I'll be featuring that new bestsellers collection. Here's currently the mobile display of this section. When you scroll down, under mobile layout is where you can adjust the mobile view for this section. You can choose if you would like to display one column at a time on mobile. This will show one product individually as your customers are scrolling through this section. Then you can also choose if you would like to show two columns at a time and if you would also like to enable the swipe on mobile. It can be easier for your customers to view multiple of your products when you select to display two columns at a time and when you enable the swipe on mobile. And that's how to add a featured product collection and how to adjust the mobile layout for that section. Also, if you guys like the layout and style of this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of different Shopify theme templates designed for different types of businesses. These can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your products, services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, the Shopify theme will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then click add theme, then upload a zip file. You'll have the option to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. And my Shopify templates are template bundles. So they do include installation guides with instructions and screenshots to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And I have a wide variety of Shopify themes designed for beauty, makeup, and skincare businesses, clothing and accessory businesses. And I also have Shopify themes for dropshipping stores and coaching businesses. Most of my Shopify template bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates, logo templates, and more. If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. The next tip for one of the best ways to help optimize the layout of your Shopify store on mobile, this will be to optimize your cart page layout and also to include proper announcements on your cart page, including shipping announcements, flash sale and discount announcements, and more. Your cart page is a great place to list the announcements that you would like your customers to know before they place their order. I'll be showing you how to add cart page announcements and how to optimize the layout of that section to look good on mobile. I'm gonna start off by opening my website, then open the cart page. Here is currently my cart page. And here is the mobile display. I'll be showing you how to add cart page announcements. 
and also how to add a featured collection to your cart page so you can promote a few of your products on your cart page. I'm gonna click add section to template. Then I'll be inserting a multi-column. Here's currently an example of how this section appears on mobile. You can choose to retitle this heading text if you would like. I'll be removing this text. Here there are currently three columns. I'm going to remove this third column since I'll be making just two announcements. And I'm also going to scroll down and remove this button label. You can choose to keep the column background or to remove it. And you can also choose to center the column alignment. When you click on a column, you'll have a few different editing options for the column. You can choose to insert a picture and also to retitle the heading text and type in your cart page announcement under description. You'll have the option to put your text in bold, italic, and you can also insert a link leading to another page within your store. Also for the description text, you'll have a few different editing options for this text. And when you click on the multi-column section, you'll have the option to edit the color scheme for this section. Then under mobile layout is where you can choose to either show one or two columns at a time for the mobile view. And you can also choose to enable the swipe on mobile. And that's a way that you can add a cart page announcements for your customers to see before placing their order. And I'll also be showing you how to add a featured collection to your cart page. In between sections, you can click add section to template. I'll be inserting a featured collection. And you can choose to retitle the heading text for this section. And then you can select which product collection you would like to feature. Under mobile layout is where you can adjust the mobile view for the featured collection. You can choose to enable the quick add button so that your customers can quickly add a product to their cart. And once you're done, that is how to add a cart page announcements and how to add a featured collection to your cart page while having a smooth navigation for your mobile layout. Also, if in general, you're not too familiar with the use of Shopify, I do have an in-depth Shopify basics guide that has a wide range of sections teaching how to use Shopify, how to set up Shopify payments, how to read your analytics page, launching products, and also how to launch your store. In this guide, I've included video tutorials, written text explainers, and screenshots to help you navigate Shopify and understand each section of the guide. And I will link that in my description box below. And the next tip will be to optimize how you promote your email list on your website. If you're building your email list, you might want your email signup to be visible on all the pages of your website. One of the best ways to do this would be to add an email signup to your footer bar. This way, when customers are on a different page on your website, when they scroll down, they may be able to see the email signup on your footer bar. This can help you to promote your email signup on your website. I'll be showing you a beginner friendly way to add an email signup to your store. You're gonna wanna open your website. Then in between sections, I'm gonna click add section. And first off, I'll be inserting a rich text. I'll be using this section to create an outline for the email signup. So I'm gonna remove the text and the button label. Then 
Then I'm going to duplicate this section to create the bottom part for the outline. Then below that, I'm going to click add section and I'll be inserting the email sign up. When you click this arrow, that's how you can reposition the email sign up above this rich text section. This way you can make an outline for the email sign up. Here's how this section appears on mobile. Then you can choose to retitle the heading text to encourage your website visitors to want to join your email list. Next, I'll be showing you how to add an email sign up to the footer section of your website so that your customers can also use this section to join your email list. First off, you're going to want to click on your footer bar. Then here under email sign up is where you can select to show the email sign up. You can also choose to adjust the heading text for the email sign up. And that's how you can display your email sign up on your website's footer bar. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the section and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.